Okay guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a pearl pour for you today. Um, I've got a couple of workshops coming up which are concentrating on cloud pours and pearl pours. And the students are just going to do a small canvas. Um, this is just a pre-used canvas that I've I'm going to start pouring over some of my older canvases because um, yeah, I'm getting too many. So the students are going to do this size canvas, 30 by 40 centimetre, 12 by 16 inch. And they're going to do a pearl pour with the um, Deco Art Gold and also a cloud pour with the Satin Enamel. So I haven't actually yet done this size before. I usually do the really big ones. So just a bit of a practice today to see how much paint I'm going to need. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get started. But I thought while I'm doing it, I might as well show you guys too. So for the pouring medium, just the flow troll today. And for my black, I'm using Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, only because I've got about 10 of these bottles. You could use Liquitex Basics as well, doesn't matter. Um, so the black. And that I have mixed one part flow troll to one part of the black. And then I've got some Liquitex Basics colours because, you know, my other um, pearl pores, I've always done purples and blues, but I thought, what, what about if I do reds and, and gold with the black? That should look nice. So I've got Cadmium Orange. Uh, what's that one? Cadmium Red Deep. Alizarin Crimson. So I've mixed these two parts, Flow Troll, to one part paint um, all the paints have added, had a little bit of water mixed with them except for the gold the gold um, I've mixed one part gold to one part flow troll and it stays pretty thin thinner than the other paints which is okay these ones are a little bit thicker so what I'm going to do is I've just got this paper cup and I'm going to do a dirty pour I've got a lot of black here double the amount of black but I want to put some black in the cup and then keep some black for the outside I'm just not sure if that's maybe a bit too thick anyway we'll do it we'll try it hey trial and error that's the only way you're going to learn is by trial and error so I want to put half of the black in here and then I may add a well I will add a little bit of black to, to use as my um, flow enhancer. I think that's about half. About half. Okay, so that's in there. And the red, just from up high, goes in. No silicone in any of these paints today. It's basically just this magic gold paint that's going to create my pearls. This does not work with all brands of paints. Um, I mean, I've only tried the Liquitex Basics and the Global. Um, the Global didn't work. So in from up high again. Yeah, for some reason. Um, it's obviously not as highly pigmented paint as the Liquitex Basics, or maybe there's something else to it. I, I don't know the science of it, but Liquitex Basics does work. And then, of course, you need this Deco Art gold this red keeps thickening up seems to be thicker than the other red and the orange but let's go for it i did put a little bit of extra water in it oh that looks so pretty in there scraping everything out doesn't matter if it sits on top you've got some in the middle you've got some on the top it doesn't really matter and then the gold now I've only got, as I said, I've only half the amount of the gold because it's really strong. You put too much in there, um, it really takes over. So you have to be a little bit careful with the gold. I found that half the amount of, of gold to, you know, one cup of colour is plenty. So if you've got 100 grams of mixed paint, like in your one of your reds or your orange or whatever, then you need 50 grams of gold, so half the amount. Righto, look at that. Um, now I'm not going to do a ring pour. I like it just in the centre there. 
um, just a dirty paw and then I'm gonna actually I'll do that first put some water I just use normal tap water a little bit of water in my my black because I really want to thin that down I wanted to be able to uh, the ring that it's going to create I want it to um, run really smoothly over this black paint that might have been a bit much <laughs> okay so no mound this paint here it did leave a mound it's relatively thick so no mound with my flow enhancer um, you know what I may just do this cover the whole thing first and then it's done and I can just pour my cup into the center all right so that's that done get my little tool here and just spread it all out it's running really nicely flowing I should say it's not really running is it it still sort of holds its shape you know if you do a little blob there it's still going to hold its shape it's not going to run away too much I won't worry about the edges because I'm no doubt going to be tilting over the side uh, with this pour I don't mind if I get some negative space I'm not quite sure how it's going to look but I don't mind if I do get some negative space I think that'll be pretty black negative space with all that red and again I'm hoping I haven't got too much color that I don't lose all my black because I think these pores look really pretty with lots of black in them all right that's that one and just wipe that okay let's do this into the middle see what I mean about all that that gold, not that there's a lot of gold there, but look how it takes over. Seems to be a lot of gold on the outside. I'm going from up high so I don't get too much of a, a wobble. Um, I don't want that sort of big blobby section in the middle that I get if I pour too closely. Wow, that's a lot of paint. Okay, <laughs> that's too much paint. I'll have to cut back. Normally you want your circle just be about there so that you can stretch it. But, you know, my circle's already pretty much covering the whole thing. Uh, this was 450 grams of mixed paint. As I said, I'm just, you know, practicing so that I... I can write down all the ratios and everything for the, the students that come to do these cloud pours because I've only used the bigger canvases. So it's popping all those bubbles. But I think maybe too much paint. I do like the gold on the outside. I wonder why it's all on the outside and not much in the middle. Righto, let's get to... Let's see if I can go round in a big circle first. Round, 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 just to get it moving. Over one of the corners. I guess I'm not going to have any negative space by the looks of it. I'm tipping all my gold off. Hey, 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 hey. Let me just leave that there for a sec. Shut the door. What are you guys barking at? Hmm? What are you barking at? You always have to interrupt my videos, don't you? Hmm? Okay. Um, now, as you saw, I tipped off a lot of paint. It's better if you don't have so much paint and you can actually stretch everything out I'll just take off a little bit of this keep that gold there because it's the stretching that's going to create these little little cells here now I don't want to I don't really want to tilt it anymore because my cells that I have got that are popping up here if 
if I tilt them now, um, I'm going to lose their shape. So I'm just going to leave that like that. Give it a torch. See how much the gold's taken over. But I've obviously got a lot more paint than what I needed, which is a shame because I've wasted a lot of a lot of paint and a lot of gold over my edges. But in saying that, let's see what happens. I'll turn the video off and, and we'll just wait for a bit. I've got a beautiful dark centre there, which is what I love. judge it too quickly because I'm not sure how much gold is going to pop up. I really, really hope that I get more gold around here in the, in the way of these, these little gold cells that are popping up. So hopefully, um, and as I said, once they start appearing, don't tilt it anymore because then they'll lose their, their lovely round shape. So that was 450 including the background. I'll have to cut that back to oh, maybe 350. I'll have, a, have another try at 350 because it's a lot of paint wasted. Look at all that beautiful gold there. Probably should have stretched that corner out a little bit more too. There's not much happening there. There's a lot happening there. That's really pretty. Um, some happening here. Got some cells coming up here. They are still growing. Give it another quick torch. And if I have less in this corner here and it's a little bit darker, then it's okay. You don't have, it doesn't have to all be the, exactly the same, does it? It's nice to have, you know, gold in one corner and red in one corner. And I like to have the black in the center. So I will pause that, pause the camera and uh, come back to you. I'll give it half an hour and then I'll come back. Let me zoom in a little bit. If I can. There we go. And centre you. So that when we come back, we can see what it's done. looking nice isn't it that reddish orangish color in the middle is really pretty it's nice and bright okay all right see you soon okay I've waited about oh maybe 15 minutes but I'm eager to get on to the next pour I've um, I'm gonna cut down my amounts of paint and uh, see how that goes but as you can see we've got beautiful metallic gold pearls popping up in that right corner so it's kind of balanced the top right corner and the bottom left corner are kind of balanced and then we've got that section that runs right through the middle that's quite dark and then we've got that beautiful reddish orange section in the middle so as far as composition goes that's really pretty it balances in my eyes it balances so let's take it down for a close-up. It's not very easy to pick up some of these colours. Oh, that's not good. But I'll do my best. Well, maybe I'll go around there. I've got a window on the side, so it's not always easy to pick up some of the colours. Okay, let's see if we can pick up the shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. Look at those cells there they've got the red and the the gold in them so they're kind of a I don't know pinky sort of a purpley tone I've got all these cloudy effects here along the edge and there's some gold shimmering in that corner not a lot happening in that corner it's quite dark which is fine and then we come around here we start getting these beautiful metallic pearls that have come up these are the ones that I love and I'm glad that they haven't grown too much when they grow too much and they all bump into each other it just looks like that a mass of, of gold but I actually like them this size when you can still see the background so 
cross fingers that they don't grow any bigger than that. And look at that middle there. It's really pretty, isn't it? Got some gold cells floating around the centre as well. So there we go. There's that one. Come out a little bit more so you can see the whole thing. And uh, I will mix up some paint. And I'll be right back. And we'll do it again with less paint and see how that goes. All right. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.